All right, we back. We back part two of Artificial America. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I hope y'all watch part one. Because if y'all them people that just going to part two, y'all done missed out on a whole what's going to lead up part, to this. I think, I think much, actually, much I think part one should be a prerequisite to part two. You, yeah, you know, probably. Should, we should require you to go back and watch part one. Most definitely. Because <laughs> it's going to make more sense. You'll get a right? Facebook badge yeah. for watching that. So, yeah. So, I am. Not promises yet, but that's something that we are going to have to start doing. We, we working on that a yes, group, the, and we're working on the name for the people that watch. Because the people that watch our show are different people. They're not Responding the regular minds? people. Responding minds? No, that ain't, okay, that ain't, nah, that nah, ain't nah, there nah, yet. Nah, we ain't nah, there nah, yet. I'm just. Yeah, but we had a conversation. Me and Mark have a conversation about engagement. Yeah. Uh, so, he, you know, says we should be. Kind of making our videos to for everybody to kind of you know to pop out and do different things because it's more engaging. And my response was the people I think that watch our videos are more just straight to the cut. They don't want to see a bunch of popping out and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's it's an hmm. up in the air discussion. And, and Max C kind of has been acting as my conscience about it because I'll even get out there sometimes. Even today, I was talking about maybe having a certain guest on, and he was like, "Nah, man, I don't think you know, what I'm saying I don't think that's the we way got to enough go. rappers, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, without, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. without, uh, yeah, basically, like he, he kind of reels me back <laughs> in, kind of you know, and balances like me out on that man. because I'm the type of dude like you know, I feel like if I'm if I'm if I feel like I can just sit here and have a conversation with you that, you know, say maybe I could bring you on with Max. He's like, no, we got to be, you know what I'm saying? Direct. And, you know, everything has to have a purpose and the people we have on has to be, you know what I'm saying? Credentials. Cause we're creating you know the saying? algorithm. Purposeful. We're yes. creating yes. the yes. algorithm. Yes. It, and we don't want to create an algorithm it, of like, as soon ahead. as, as soon as I told him about you, you know what I'm saying? He was, he was all, he was on point. And uh, one of the things that I think, I appreciate it. I, one of the <laughs> things that I think kind of drew him in is I told him that, and this will get into you know what we're talking about in artificial America is you're actually designing a AI application uh, bot system whatever you want software whatever you want to call it yeah. and it's focusing on behavioral change. Yep, that's correct. So it explain a little bit about what you got going on with that and introduce yourself. Who are you? Oh real yeah, quick. yeah, Just yeah. A brief. Again. No worries, no worries. Uh, so, yeah, my name is Brian Gador. Uh, I, uh, so my my title legally is Chief Test Dummy, uh, by the way, with Life Helm AI. Chief Test what? Chief Test Dummy. <laughs> That's a great title. I'm trying to add a title. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't heard worse titles. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, a fluffer. No, I'm not gonna lie. A fluffer. <laughs> that, that's oh, the no. That, that's probably the worst time I ever heard. Uh, We're not talking about that behavioral uh, change. Uh, I feel a bit like this. That's why you don't want to be. You're uh, like, wait, what? Uh, all right, all right. So, uh, uh, <laughs> Bill Gates comes to Africa and choose me as the chief test dummy. All right, I'll be like, huh? All right, fluffer. <laughs> yeah. Well, come on. Uh, okay. So basically, what you do though. Uh, is you can do, uh, you can do like one sentence to however many. I've even had people put in like "scared thunder" was a real, real one, um, and you know we just tried to see what that would create. And I trained it off a bunch of the like bunch of books that I've read, uh, but that are also available in most of the LLMs. So it's a subset. Uh, specifically focused on behavioral change and what it does is and it creates a levelized plan if you yeah. watch part one you would know what llm stands for oh yeah, yeah. drop yeah. it in yeah. the comments so, yeah. yep uh let me say it though yeah, yeah just go, go ahead. ahead all right uh the trivia uh round is llm stands for large language model uh so a large language model acts a little bit as like a predictive uh auto autocomplete essentially right but you can Train that and restrict it to a subdomain, and a lot of people call that like an agent process. Um, in the area I'm specifically trying to solve, though, personally, is behavioral change, and uh, I use like books like uh, Nudge, um, you know, Daniel Kahneman. I think he was like 2015 Nobel Prize winner in either psychology or uh, behavioral economics. But there's a whole field about it called behavioral economics that is about trying to either influence the way people behave or just trying to do small things. And there's nudge departments. Yeah, all over that's the word that you used when we first discussed this was the nudge. Yeah. So. Yes. So uh, so specifically, like, let's say 
uh, you put in like a real one that I put in was I want to lose as much weight as I can in 30 days. I am this old. I have this kind of equipment and I want to make sure I don't die young because uh, I have family and I want to live for them. Uh, I put in pretty much that like three sentences. And what it does is it goes and it like uh, gives you uh, 10 uh, like 10 steps for each level. And there's five levels and they increase in intensity. So, for example, um, one of them was like, go for a walk for 15 minutes. And then it just puts that all on your calendar automatically. So you get alerts, uh, to be like, Hey, go do it this time. Uh, and you can change that around obviously, but the trick is to go get you doing it. Mm, um, that's what I was about to yeah, ask you. How, how does it influence you? Yes. Yeah. Influence you. Motivate you to do this. And what really is happening though, is it's you influencing yourself. So what I want to do with that literally is to re-empower people with these uh, these technology addiction loops so that they can go after their own goals. So you're uh, inverting what they're basically... So you're trying to use this for good. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, in part one, we talked about how it's not how people, are using this, people are using well, this for <laughs> their own personal gains yeah. or the gains for the corporation. Correct. You're actually trying to figure out a way to use AI to benefit the individual. That's correct. How they want it. And is it limitations? Like, if you went on there and was like, how could I freaking grow weed in the bathroom and I have two pots and some sunlight. It would, it would have the, uh, the restrictions, uh, that are set for most LLMs. So it wouldn't tell you that, um, that being said, if I had my way over time, it would, (laughs) <laughs> like, yeah. because people I would like can, to train it to be able to do things like that that are in the gray areas where it's like should you do this probably not yeah. should I tell you not to do this I how personally far along are you on this uh, it actually works already so uh, I did a 30 day trial on myself um, I lost 26 pounds um, but it like increased the intensity because I started out at like 301, and I was like, that's definitely one, at least one pound too many. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And you used it, you used it obviously for health benefits. Yeah. I could use it if I wanted to learn how to speak Japanese or yep. Mandarin. So, right. could you, like, I'm sending a thing about him asking, how do you make it motivate you? Could you write a code that says, like, once you to this app, this is what I want to do, right? And it gave you this. Yeah. Not time riches. Can you write a code that tells that app say everything on our phone get locked? Yes. Uh, uh, you see that? Like everything yes. on your phone, you can do anything on your phone. Your yep. entire phone is like, nope. You were supposed crazy. to do this so here. That's the second part. Before, yes. yes. Is that, is, bro, you don't understand. Yeah, I'm yeah, writing code. It's like a parental I'm control. I'm writing code. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. until yeah. you do this here, I will not let you access this one. And then the phone yep. kind of knows after you do it, then it allows that. Well, I'm going to put a volume button in, and I'm still working on this part where you can, like, go from sure. volume one, which is just like, hey, go put your shoes on once a week, and then after a week, then go for a walk. So very gentle, one mm, or two nudges. Nudge. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It'll go yeah. from Justin Timberlake voice yeah. to Samuel L. Jackson's yeah. voice. Arlie <laughs> Army <laughs> from Full Metal still Jacket. We've been out there for three weeks. <laughs> you still Dom sitting here. Yeah. It becomes out of the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, no. Get your ass off this, right? Dude, do you know why I know that the reason why I say that is because of I have an issue with with cars, seatbelt thing, right? Um, just put it on, bro. Right, but you but it's like right? you should. Most people, that thing start to beep 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 beep. They yeah. go off. I sat sat in the car. Every time I sit in the car, I'm like, you don't have to worry. They about don't it. care you about should, the though. safety you of the human. You're not just wait, affecting wait. you. Everybody talks about man. If I want to wear a seatbelt, I should or not. But if you have a wreck, your body can be turned into a projectile missile That's and the come di- in in my car di- and hit me. Or whoever else, He's got or your body, no, part, but, your body parts splatter all across the road, and somebody got to come clean that shit up. But that's that's, that's your mean. choice. But what right? I'm saying you is, should, right? What, what I'm saying, no, 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 no. You see, don't put something in the car and say that's your choice. Nobody put a yeah. wheel in the car and they're like, it's your choice to turn the wheel or not. That's why I call it okay. life health. It, it is isn't. your choice. No, it isn't. You, turn the wheel. The you don't no. have to. Okay, you just drive straight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's. A reaction to everything you do. No, all I'm exactly. saying is right. Yeah. All I'm saying is right. Yeah. If you're gonna build something that says 
this is for a safety of a human, right? Like a car belt, right? That's that, a very gray area always. That, that is what I'm saying. They don't really care about your safety. They don't care because if they care and they wanted the law, especially if it's law for you to wear a seatbelt, they allow that little alarm that they put in the car, PPP. They should have a speaker out to where it is peeping when you're driving. Beep, beep, beep. Everybody <laughs> gets to know. Knows yeah, like, motherfucker, don't have a seatbelt on. Well, funny you should say that. You know what I'm saying, right? Uh, because the one volume, like, let's say, instead we crank that up to around 10, <laughs> right? So 10's like it's going to gray your phone out so there's no colors on it. Yes. It starts locking down your internet connection. Yes. It messages your wife who might care deeply about how to, long you live. Yeah, like, hey, why don't you it. got your seatbelt on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, didn't, he didn't put his seatbelt on. He didn't go for a walk today. <laughs> That's yes. crazy. So he, he didn't go for a walk. Yes. yes. Now <laughs> you are like, <laughs> That's yes. Wow. People will hold you accountable. Accountable. Yeah. So we get everybody in on Correct. It. Because right. it is the law, right? It is law. You have to wear your seatbelt I'm thinking deeper, though. Maybe... Maybe heroin addicts can use That's exactly. this to. I really want to do that. Can't call the plug. Like, ah! Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> no, no, for real, for real. no internet, yeah. no anything. Yeah. Yeah. Because why don't we have algorithms caring. for that? Yeah. But that's the thing. But that's where you said, well, that's America. We just want to capitalize. They want to capitalize don't. on so much. Yeah, no, no, it's true. <laughs> but but and if I I'm do a not plug. Think, Hey, your AI is tripping. Yeah. It, I do, hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not, hey, my AI yeah. re and counterates your AI and overthrows it. It's over. Yeah. Yeah. It's over. Yeah, your AI too. Yeah, yeah. I can't trust so, your AI, bro. So I believe, <laughs> like, <laughs> most things, like you says, it starts yeah. out with good intention. Yeah. Until it becomes good and somebody's like, I'm going to buy it after and honor you. Yeah. I'm going to take that. Like, one, one of the things I enjoy about. I'll tell you, it's over my cold, dead body. <laughs> Will that ever be used? Yes, you understand, right? Yeah, <laughs> and that's but you see these things like like we and just said. Even then, I'd, I'd put provisions. They, I'd put provisions in there that even if my cold dead body, you're gonna have to go over my cold dead that, durable trust. Uh, yes, and my cold dead lineage. Everything else like, ain't and and <laughs> not at all. Like it yeah, is in no the way. blah blah line. If yeah. if I die and I kill Switch, throw that whole system, system off. Like ah, no, like I do that. So all right. All right, so I wanted to, to endure. Back to the, what we was talking about, subject matter. You got something? Uh, go in with the 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 what so, we were discussed. Right, yeah, off so camera. artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. You have a background in it. You're actually actively yeah. actively involved in it. Where are we at right now with that? Oh, and do people <laughs> even have an inclement of exactly the possibilities, or even where we're at with the technology? Something people might not know. I really don't think people do uh, understand artificial intelligence um, in a lot of ways. Uh, the, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, for example, I think a lot of people, you know, the human brain, it tries to compress information. So we try to. Hang on. Rewind yeah. real quick. You said that our brains are wired a certain way. Yes. When we was talking behind the scenes. What yep. is that? Just briefly explain how we as humans, how our minds are and how we're set up. Yeah. Basically. So we basically have like paleolithic brains, right? We have brains that are from the past and they have not, they've not changed uh, enough to keep up with the innovation cycle. Certainly not. There's nobody in 1776 go 1777 uh in the united states the new united states formed you could not explain our technology to them you couldn't and they understand no. it. you couldn't like think of the words think of the well, days and i think about How the book of revelation take? like if that guy really glimpsed into the future that was the best he could describe it that's very interesting <laughs> and point. still to oh, this yeah. day we have no understanding heads, yeah it's a fire we, but anyway we, Paleolithic yeah. minds. Yes, yes. So we're not we we're are. not prepared. We're not prepared huh. uh, for the technology <laughs> and the algorithms today. Um, yeah, you know, and frankly, a lot of uh, stuff that we're fed do are not prepared for even because our bodies are also not uh, built for you know processing things like wood pulp necessarily. But maybe it's a filler. Uh, but anyways, on the brain part, you know, we are not prepared to defend ourselves against these, uh, the assault of all these algorithms uh, against your mind. So what happens is, uh, here's a question that I think puts a fine point on this, right? Are people, uh, you know, not any of us, of course, right? Are people other than us, not us, uh, but maybe me, I don't know. <laughs> are, are they addicted to pooping, right? And the idea for that is, you know, the initial thought 
behind that. And we talked a little bit of this on part one. Uh, but I'm, I'm actually curious. What do you think, Mark? What do you think? People. Uh, uh, I don't pooping? think it's the actual pooping, but I think it's the avenue. It's the outlet of taking a shit in the morning. You got your phone with you or whatever. How many people go into the bathrooms in the morning and don't take their phone? That's why, you know, like our, our buddy many? Jordan, shout out Jordan Gibbs, he issued a challenge. He said, hey, the first 30 minutes in the morning, do not reach for your phone. My That's phone's going off right challenge. now. Oh, no. And I want to grab it. You know what I'm saying? They heard I'm you. Not, but they said, he said that the, you know, most of the yeah, time when people wake up in the mornings, the first thing they grab is their phone. Yeah. And when you grab your phone, what do you do? You open up the algorithm. And yep. You open yourself up to the algorithm. So whatever your algorithm is, that predetermines how your day is. And yep. somebody you know will li- so, literally yeah. argue with you like, well, I mean, but my alarm so is set on my phone. Yeah. I got friends yeah. that I grew up that I grew up with that have said that have clocks in the house mm-hmm. and says, and they have advisement, do not set your alarm on your phone. Yeah. Get a yeah. regular clock. No, I have agree. it on a wall or have like a watch. Something. I have a sand timer. I have and, a sand timer on my desk for 45 minutes. Really? So yeah. because it's like a, it becomes like a, go go. On. Well, I was gonna say so. We, you know, we have Paleolithic minds. Yeah. So that's we do. that's as far as if I'm looking at where AI is at mm-hmm. and where we're at as a species with our Paleolithic minds, we are very primitive. Very yes. Yeah. You know but, what I'm saying? But we're very advanced too. Like we made the AIs. Our brain is a marvel. A few of us did. That's fair. That's exactly <laughs> yeah, what yeah, yeah. 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 Ninety-eight percent of us have. No idea what it even is. If we was to go back to the art to to the dark ages, it would be so hard to reverse engineer. If I if if you're depending on me to do it, hey bro, we're rubbing sticks together. Look, and we got bow and arrows. I might the best I got for you. I've got a computer science degree. I know I know machine code. I know the different levels going from binary to machine code. To low level languages like C, C plus plus. But to get there, C to sharp, to reverse engineer it, we have to have so much more. We have to mine gold. Correct. We have to mine Correct. copper. We have to, you know, what I'm yep. saying like we got to. I don't set know up how to do that. that. But the whole thing is right. I I'm gonna that. I'm gonna say this. The reason why I'm not really, I mean, I'm concerned of what it can do, but I'm never concerned of anything that is sent here or primitive can ever of it becoming sent humans. Is because it's be, because of this because well. of this. Because of this, the greatest story ever told on this earth is told by humans. You can hear a story about aliens, human will tell you. You hear a story about dinosaurs, human will tell you. You hear a story about God created heaven and the earth, human told you. If you ask a human, where are those things? They say, well, they are not here, an animal. But we still here. Yeah. Human is still here. To this day, yeah. I keep saying, Human would tell you that the the dinosaur was more powerful and bigger than dragons. Time was more, but guess what? Not more powerful than we are here. (laughs) Humans keep telling you what is danger, what is this, and what can take this, and who can. But in the end, when you ask, where are these things? Human would say, oh, they are no longer here, but we're still here. And what's impressive to me is is just a luck. Hold on for you. And that's what people. Most of us are so destructive and violent, though. Like, how did we even make it? Yeah, hold on. Before we, go, before we go that deep, that's how before we go it. that deep, I want to go with Mento because me and Mento had this conversation a long time ago, and we talked about that you believe that cell phones was harvesting souls. Yes, interesting. And yes. So if it has the soul, if it has this conscious in it, and there's people that's in it, then it, it's kind of like I have a grandson, and no matter where he's at, if I set my phone down, he knows it. And he'd run, he'd look around like, oh, and then he'd go try to grab it real quick and yep. take off. I'm like, what da, the da hell? Phone, like, dot, dot, phone. Mm. Every time in my dog, you know it saying? doesn't matter where let it me, is. Let me offer an alternative, if that's okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Question. Go ahead. No, go um, ahead. So, for one, humans are the apex predators of the world. Yes. Period. Yeah. Two, humans control technology, and we are the apex predators of the apex <coughs> predators. Yes. In creating the new innovations, the new technology that are unleashed, right? Yes. So the reality is uh, phones, it's stupid, stupid tool. Phones are stupid. Computers are stupid because they only understand one and zero. That's changing. Right? Binary. With, yeah, binary. yeah, binary, right? But with AI, there's more probabilistic problems, and it becomes more similar to how people actually yeah, so think. explain to our paleolithic minds and yeah, mine ours included. and the readers at home, what is AI? Where are we at with it right uh, so now, currently? 
Yeah, so where we're at with it right now, we have things called like neural networks um, where they have different like probabilities, but LLM is kind of the big thing. Anyway, so they have these uh, indeterminate problems is what they're called. So there's not necessarily a deterministic answer. Now, humans excel at indeterministic storytelling and uh, discussion. So if you ask me, give me any subject, Mark, random subject. Anything other than what we're talking about? Uh, the lifestyles of the Cheyenne Dogman Warrior Society, the Cheyenne Plains Tribe. Okay, so the brain? the Cheyenne <laughs> the Cheyenne Dog Warriors. They were uh, like the Navy SEALs of the the, the Plains Tribes. Right? Yeah, so in the the Plains Tribes, they uh, they used to hunt buffalo, mm-hmm. and they would herd them, and they had this. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But it's starting to sound convincing. Yeah, convincing, yeah, yeah, right? like you say, you know. Because, <laughs> yeah, right? But, but, see, but that's my, the, I am doing, an, uh, I'm doing a prediction because you said the Great uh, Plains, and I went, oh, that's over in Colorado. That's where Trail of Tears was. Uh-huh. Okay, now we're taught it can maybe Native American. Okay, yeah. Native American from what time frame? He said Navy SEALs. That means they're elite warriors. Warriors. What would you the see, warriors be doing back then? They'd be hunting con- because it's pre-agrarian. Yeah. See, that's my brain going... Yep, but, it but see, but yeah. see, all those thoughts that you're having. So I use this program called Udio. Uh, Udio is a song creator. So you okay. put in a prompt, and it will create the beat right. and the and song, song. Yeah. With, within under sixty seconds. Yeah. Of, a yeah. full song. So a but song that makes sense. Soul. I think, anyways. You yeah, see, it, right? don't ha- it don't have it soul. soul. It does it, not. It don't have soul, but Literally, it is creating it it's just so as good. fast as you told that story. It's creating because I can let you hear a song and you'll be like, no, nah, that's a human because that's, it's hitting that's high where the notes. Part comes yeah. in. It's giving you. It's doing what I was doing. But yeah. be, and, it's and, BSing. Yes. And it's but BSing. Because yeah. Kids yeah. these days, or people these days, are so caught up in algorithm, are so caught up in new things that, that whenever he brought this up, when I look into it, there have been big artists that have been making music yeah. through yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. But because people are not listening to to this song over and over and over. Like, like if you listen to me, I listen to Eminem and K. Cuddy oh, and, my, and myself. Yeah. These are the three artists that you will see on my playlist over and over. Kikuddy, yeah. People tell me this. People at my work are like, you listen to the same album mm-hmm. all day. I'm like, yes. Me too. <laughs> I listen to the same album all day. I can listen to myself with three songs on re- re- repeat over and over. And somebody can be like, why do you do that? I'm like, because this song have enough soul yeah, to carry me in this form. But AI, you know right? but so, AI is copying emotions now. Yes, correct. But it can also... Like to a, a huge extent. But the thing is, right, the term copying emotions, right, only works with people that don't know what actual emotions are. Ah. People that truly know what emotions are knows when even a human is faking an emotion. We are very good at you telling you. Got some people are really trained. Yes, some yeah. people okay, don't. So, because yeah. some people fall for anything. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. true. That that is what I'm saying. It's like ninety percent. People do get fooled, but like it's like the AI. If an AI was to take over the world, right, and enslave ninety nine percent of the world, I'm still telling people there will be a one percent or one person they that will freaking find a way. To defeat our AI. So, so because that's what so. human does. So AI Terminator. Can, AI yes. can bullshit, right? Yeah, they can bullshit. But and like we was talking about, the AI can also can also calculate. Correct. Like judiciously. Yeah. Yes. So we was talking about a drone that facial profiled its target. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The military used it Very to much fly in and one shot, one kill. A terrorist. I believe there is a DNA drone. Yeah. We'll Hold think on. about that, right? It's so, called Lavender. The Lavender. Well, no, drones. we've already we've got drones that have you know recognition enough. You can do like you can do gate like gate analysis even, but you can do visual, facial. And by the way, satellite imagery has increased uh, rapidly as well. So they have satellites now that can like read yard and, signs. And that, so. that's just one example. That we what? So the ident- yeah. yard so signs. identifying something is pretty Jesus. black and white. You yeah. either are this person or not. What impresses me is. Because I've heard people they are could using hold the picture up though. People are people are using AI Does to work? calculate and predicate and predicate. God damn! I just damn. yeah, you got oh, chill out, Ti. That's what yeah, yeah, talking yeah, like Ti. Yeah. People are uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a LIM. People Behind are using uh, AI to calculate and predict the stock market. Right? Is that yes. true? Uh, okay, so the stock market. There's a uh, a lot of people think uh, a lot of people think that the market has. Like, there's just these predictable, and there are to an extent, right? And I've got a background in some of this. And by the way, this is not financial advice. Um, 
you know, you can predict some patterns, it's true. But another part that happens with that is it all becomes more of like a people believe these things. So when people believe mm. that banks are solvent, then they're solvent. And you can create right? the wave yeah. almost, right? Yep. So okay. if you create this belief and this, uh, you know, a lot of times it's a collective delusion. I love the term belief. Yeah. yeah. If it's a, it's a collective delusion sometimes. Now, what happens when AI can start bullshitting to the point to where it can make us have a collective delusion? Nobody yes. knows. Um, I, so, do you not think so, they're doing so it right then, now? Can so they then, do it right now? Can they, especially with U.S. politics, can they not plant these bugs in social media that everybody's, our eyes are glued well, to look into Cambridge Analytica. seven If you want to influence somebody, you plant the seeds in social media, right? Because that's yeah. what we're most attentive to. Yeah, I mean, you know that's I mean? that's an asymmetrical warfare method, unfortunately, where you basically are creating collective delusions in people to wither away their society, and Russia's actively doing that to the United States. Um, and I'm sure we're doing it to other places. I mean, we wrote a virus, maybe, or not, uh, maybe not the United States, but allegedly the U.S. and uh, allies, possibly. not. This is not in any official capacity. Um, made a virus that overheated centrifuges in Iran that caused, uh, you know, nuclear meltdown uh, and set them back like a decade or something. <laughs> yeah, so so that's that's 20... <laughs> yeah, well, that's like 2015, 2016, right? Now what's going to happen when we get our... Uh, when we start, on, you know, letting... AI loose uh, against the world. Now that's now we're just talking about like the capabilities of government entities, not even like people. Who is so? Uh, we talked about this earlier, like because I hear, and I'll use Elon Musk as an example, yeah. and some of the people in his, I guess, his circle. The first, I would say, the pioneers of AI. A lot of those guys backed out because yeah. it actually scared them. And a lot of them was like, and Elon Musk keeps telling us like, hey, y'all need to regulate careful. this. You need to be careful. Who is you. overseeing and regulating the growth of AI? The man that's creating it. <laughs> or is it, just <laughs> like a, is it just like a free market, right? Like anybody it's a free can market get right in. It's called I open mean, yeah. AI. I mean, it's a, unless, unless you create an AI that is so advanced, I think that the government is like, I believe anybody has the right to create it, right? Man, so the problem with that is uh, it becomes a sword and shield issue where, like, how do you defend against things like nuclear weapons, right? The, the reality is you kind of don't. Um, AI is getting to that point at an individual level where somebody like, you know, one of us, uh, in maybe two years or so, we could write a virus using a combination of AI, quantum computing, and bioinformatics uh, with the data that's available uh, to make viruses that'll just keep spreading uh, so we can cook up some terrible human virus uh, using AI, right? So that's what we're talking about. When we talk about information, I think people forget sometimes that the human genome's already been sequenced. We already yes. have a file. I think it's like eight gigabytes in size or so. Uh, so eight gigs, which is like a 4K movie, tells you all about the human genome, right? Um, so we've got about on the size of a movie, uh, what what makes somebody human uh, as far as biology? Um, so now you take that and you apply AI, you apply advances in quantum computing that go maybe beyond typical GPU, CUDA style stuff or whatever, right? Um, and then you start getting into real scary territory very quickly and most people agree with that in technology. Most people in technology are like, hey, can we not? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. but, but we all realize that we're barreling towards that future. And what I want to do is I want to flip that equation to see if I can't figure out how to make AI like enhance humans. I'm team human Ride or die. Period. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Ride or yeah. die. Period. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, I do computer stuff, but I am team human. Um, Still rolling. And by the way, uh, Musk is also team human. Uh, yes. Yeah. Him and I think Sergey Brin, I think they had a falling out uh, over the humanity question of whether like uh, AI should always be sub, you know, subservient to humans. And it should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, period. and I don't so understand this. Hold on. Because yeah. the thing about it, it seems like what they tell us. Usually we're five, ten years behind or twenty, you know. Oh, so by the time it yeah. hits us and tells so they're giving us all this information about AI. So that means that they pretty much been having it oh yeah for a while. But it seems like where we at right now that AI could really just do its own thing because 
we're humans. We sleep. We take poops. Mm -hmm. You know, we eat. We do these things while yeah. AI is steady learning, teaching itself 24-7, 365. Leads, that leads sleep. me into, yeah. into my next question, which was you, like, because I believe I told you behind the scenes, I had a, uh, we had a little Thanksgiving dinner, and one of the kids that was there, he actually worked on AI. And yeah. I asked him, I said, is AI sentient? And will it ever be sentient? And he kind of scoffed it, blew it off. He was like, no, it's a software. It's a program. How can uh, it ever be sentient? Yeah. How do you feel about that? Can it be its own entity? Can it be once, its own Once thing? we stop planting yeah. chip into people, I think oh, then it can. Right now. Yeah, it's yeah, already I mean, done. I, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Once it start, then can the AI then I'll read that code that is in a person's chip and control them. I can then say they might be sentient, but it still doesn't change the well, fact if that they not, are still if a it, computer. If it is just a software application, Always. calculator or whatever, then I'm not as worried about it. But if it ever becomes sentient, then I feel like we got problems. We're talking about, you know, Terminator 2, Skynet type shit. But it's still going yeah, to change the fact. Go on. Even before sentience, it's going to abide by the rules of its understanding of how it's written, right? Yes. So that's where you get into the problems like, um, like maybe they put a rule in to make people happy about some fiction in history. Like, uh, let's okay, say. Okay, but, but if it's not being regulated... And who knows who's programming? This? But well, then, that's yes, exactly yes. That's yes. That, that, that is the like, thing. And bias gets put in by the people. Can who somebody made it? write an AI that says that leaves that doesn't give it any kind of has a restriction? Re, yeah, re, like a yeah. restriction, like do anything, kind of. Yes, what, yes. That's what, a man creating. They, they, they God create. The well, devil, yes. Well, see, have you seen that yeah, movie, say, uh, right? Megan? I think it's called Megan. Oh, yeah. No, 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 Lucy. Oh, where where yeah. the Megan, Megan doll actually was the child's oh. friend. Oh, yeah. And it by the body's rules, it was an AI doll. I watched the trailer. But trailers. it went over protection over the daughter. And it started killing people that it felt like. Was a threat to the daughter. A threat to the daughter. It first killed the dog. And you know what I'm saying? Because the dog barked at the little girl. Yeah. So it was like her whole job is to protect. It was yeah. programmed to protect this girl or whatever, this little girl. But then it just got like overbearing and started killing people. Like this boy tried to pick her on her at school. But one, one, killed one, the boy. once again, it's following a specific code. Right. Now, it takes the code to the extreme. We humans do a lot. A good person that is people that, that, that is the good, yeah. that is being good. Sometimes you look at it like people are taking advantage of you because you are so good. You That's literally, it. you know what I'm saying, right? No, a lot, no, a lot, lot of people, people when, when we think of machines and computers, what do they lack? What makes them not human? No soul. Emotions. One of them is actually indeterministic problems. Okay, but listen. Wait, it what? has no, if a computer cannot yeah. get happy or sad, but what if it, it can calculate whether right. it should be happy or should yep. be sad, right? Yeah, and that's where so, we go back to. And, the, the, and, yes, and essentially, it. humans, that's what we do. Yeah. We calculate. Yes. We can calculate we our happy? anger. Or and not only that, sure. yes, and how happy she would be and, and how sad that, that she would be. How much should we laugh right. at this well, joke? Once you how think much should we not laugh at this joke? Or very different things, too. Yeah. So, right. like, you know, somebody could think well, one thing. Our most dominant thought is what controls our emotions. So, anger, times, yeah. anger is a secondary emotion. But the thing is, Nine times out of ten... Before you got angry, you felt something before. So if somebody oh, yeah. walks, if I'm walking down the street, or you're walking down the street, somebody walks up and spits in your face. Mm -hmm. What's your reaction? What do you, what do you, if somebody walks down the street and spits in your face and slaps your wife's ass, <laughs> what you going to do? I mean, that's <laughs> the anger. Uh, uh, the emotion would be anger first. Anger second. What happened when they spit in your face is you felt disrespected. You felt demeaned when they slapped your wife's but ass. But that is, that's not an emotion. See? My emotion is anger out the gate. Everything it, that's it's, a it's, symptom it's, to it is secondary. We anger, regulate. Ang you get angry because you felt a certain way. See, about I'm angry. Something. I'm going to restrain them up to and including ending them. 